Hi Naptime friends, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday everybody. I hope you guys are all doing good. Today we're going to be doing some resin art and I'm going to be trying Ligari Epoxy for the first time. They were kind enough to send me a sample kit to try. So their sample kits, um, their epoxy is a two to one ratio. Let me start off by saying that. And their sample kits come with four containers. So you'll see this big one that's four ounces and this little one that's two ounces. You'll pour your two ounce into your four ounce container. That's your part B in the little container there, part B, and then pour that into your part A. Mix it up for about three minutes and then you'll be good to go and mix up the other two containers. Um, those ones, one is two ounces and the other one is one ounce. Like I said, it's a two to one ratio epoxy. And then um, you mix that one up and you're good to go. So when you mix your epoxy, you just go nice and slow, just like this. You don't want to stir super fast, otherwise you'll just be introducing bubbles and you don't want that. But I will say this epoxy had hardly any bubbles. I think there was maybe one or two and that was just from me stirring them in. So it's really, really awesome. It has no bubbles, no smell, and no death bubbles either. So I'm going to be using uh, the Just For You Online UK glitters in this piece, the Fine Holographic Silver and the Fine Darkest Blue, some Mayron Rose Gold, Color Obsession Aquamarine Paste, Luscious Plum Paste by Larez, and Angel White paste by Larez, and also this Aurora Borealis green pigment from Resin Pigment Canada. Check out how pretty that holographic Just For You Online UK glitter is. Super nice. So I have all my colors mixed up, all my epoxies mixed up. I just went ahead and put my containers upside down on my substrate here. This is an 11 by 14 piece of glass. I popped out of a picture frame. I had done an acrylic pour on it previously, but it didn't turn out. So before the acrylic pour dried, I scraped it off. So you can kind of see the purple border around the edge of the piece. It's totally flat and dry. It's just kind of older paint that's on there. All I did was wipe it off with some 91% isopropyl alcohol and I taped the back with some electrical tape to prevent drips. So as you could see, I just went in with my Luscious Plum kind of in a zigzaggy wavy line down the middle and then my Aquamarine and now I'm going in with my color shifting Aurora Borealis pigment. That stuff is so pretty and shimmery, you guys. It's lovely. And then my uh, rose gold here. I'm going to add a little bit of that just to highlight it a little. Now I'm going to go in with my heat gun on high heat, blend these colors, move them around, see what I can come up with here. So I've got everything all nice and blended. I'm just going to go in with my finger, touch up the edge right here, make sure that it's all nice and covered. And now I'm going to go in with my fingers and do some finger swipes. Just having fun and experimenting. I'm going to go in and add some of that holographic silver glitter. Super pretty glitter. I'm just going to add some fun lines, kind of just highlight the lines that I made with my finger swipes. Now I'm going to add a little bit of that finest dark blue glitter and some angel white lines just to kind of brighten it up a little bit. And then I'll heat those up blend them out. I'm 
And then I'm just going to go in with my heat gun again on high and move this white around, just blending it a little bit and making the lines nice and milky. Now I'm just going in and adding a little bit more of that holograph holographic glitter, <laughs> it's a tongue twister, and you guys, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know I just can't help myself, have to add that sparkle sparkle to everything, it's just too pretty, I have to add it. <laughs> and now I'm going to go in with a little bit of 91% isopropyl alcohol, and just flick some on, what I was doing is pouring it onto my fingertips, and flicking it onto my piece here, and it gives you some really fun effects. Check it out. I wanted some thicker lines of that holographic glitter, so I'm just going in and adding thick lines of the glitter. You can see I'm trying to do it a little bit thicker, but it does. it's starting to look really galactic, don't you think? What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. Now I'm all done adding the glitter. I'm just going to take my finger, run it around the edge so I don't get any drips on my floor while I take it to my dust-free zone. You can see a little close-up, it's looking really nice. And I had quite a bit of runoff on my table here, so I'm going to take that and cover some coasters. These are just old acrylic pours that didn't turn out or I didn't like. I have a nice little stack of them. And when I have extra resin, I just like to use the resin on those, turn them into a coaster. And I have them pre-prepped with duct tape on the back. Um, on ceramic tiles, these are just 4x4 four four ceramic tiles, uh, duct tape, the resin drips peel right off. And I like to um, keep my tiles or my coasters on spray paint can lids. You can see that's what I'm putting them on here. The resin drips peel right off of them, and you can reuse them and reuse them and reuse them. And I like to use uh, spray paint when I prep my boards. So it's a nice and easy way to keep those tiles lifted up while you're waiting for them to cure and dry. And I'm just going in with my finger, doing a little bit of design on a couple of these. Then I'm going to take that rose gold that I had left over and do some accents. So I was able to get a lot of coverage out of the Ligari epoxy. I did an 11 by 14 piece and three tiles here. And then I also had resin left over that I used in molds. And I'll show you those too. I'll demold those really quickly in a few minutes here. I'm just taking my finger and blending out that rose gold. Just doing some fun finger swipes. Just blending that out a little bit just so it's not like a really harsh line on there. And here's about one hour into drying. I'm gonna take my finger, just do some more finger swipes on this one, just to give it a little bit more of a design. And it was starting to set up, so it wasn't moving too much, which is what you want. You don't want it to be super sticky, but after your resin sets up for about an hour, you can go in and all the lines will stay put that you add, and it'll still self-level and level out. Here I'm making my own custom glitter with the Just For You Online UK glitters. I'm using their Chunky Champagne, the Fine Ice Snow White, the Fine Dark Blue, Darkest Blue, and the Fine Holographic Glitter. And I'm just going to go in and add some glitter to this piece. I wanted to make it 
really galactic looking so I felt like it needed some glitter lines so I'm just gonna go in and do some embellishing and this is two hours into drying um, I didn't want to do it too soon after I had put these in my dust free zone just because I didn't want the glitter to spread out everywhere if you wait it won't spread out all over the place it'll stay put pretty much it'll stay in the same spot where you laid it down so I'm gonna let it dry and I'll show you guys what it looks like in 24 hours here's the mold check it out look at the cute little Buddha and there are no bubbles you guys which is awesome I'll turn this into a magnet what I'll do is I'll take some uh, clear gloss spray paint spray it so it's nice and glossy and then attach a magnet on the back but check it out no bubbles they turned out perfect happy little Buddhas so here's what it's looking like all dry what do you guys think I love how it turned out it's very galactic spacey space vibes but I don't think it's quite finished so I'm going to take one of my favorite stencils and do a little embellishing with my paint pen um, these are Triton paint pens. You can get them off Amazon. I'll link them down below. They work really good for embellishing um, when you're doing stencils with fine details like this one. Um, you could try to do paint with this, but the details are so fine. It kind of can seep underneath the stencil. So these paint pens work really good for that. So I just colored it all in with my silver and I'm going to lift it off and show you guys what it looks like all finished. Here it is, all nice and dry. Look at that finish. It's just like glass, like looking into a mirror almost. It's perfect. So I really liked um, the Ligari Epoxy. It had no bubbles, no smell. No death bubbles coming up into the air, you know, when you're mixing your epoxy. It cured really, really shiny and pretty. So what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Hope you guys are all doing good and you're having a good day. And you guys all have a great weekend. And if you guys want to check out any of the products I used um, in this video, they will all be linked down below in the description. Here's how the coasters turned out. They turned out really nice and sparkly and shiny. I'll have to do a flood coat to seal that glitter in, but that's no big deal, no problem. I'm excited to try the Ligari Epoxy again. I want to try it in some uh, coaster molds. That would be a lot of fun to see how they turn out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it, and if you did, go ahead and leave me a like. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys on Monday for another video. Bye!